This is the Iron Trainer. It is Monday morning and it's time to go back to work. Now today, uh, I should say this week, we have a good full week here of trading again. Uh, Tuesday, remember for crude oil will be your API report. Uh, Wednesday, you'll have your EIA report at 1030 for crude oil and your EIA report on Thursday for natural gas and then we have your rig count on Friday. Okay, so as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, commodity, ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, let me just big this up a little bit here. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> Friday, we had this big red-ass candle. Okay, so realistically, I was telling you here, we wanted to trade the top of this box. This is 79.29. And the bottom of that box was uh, 75.25. Okay, so basically for about 13 days or so here, we were trading this box. Then it went up here to a different level here where we were trading, where we had a, <clears throat> a high basically of 80.85. And then we have your nice double bottom situation that was right here of 77.52 and 77.56 uh, here. Okay, so we were trading this other box. Now, uh, so far here today, we put in a little bit of a lower low. Okay, so, so far today's low here was uh, 77.25. Uh, so what you always want to do is just look to the left of the chart here. What do you have? 77.15. Okay, so right there is your support level. Okay, so again, if that is lost here, then we can come over here. You have 76.80 and then we'll have your uh, 76, uh, uh, 43, which will be your hundred day. Okay. So basically just always look to the left of the chart because where it's, where it's been, usually where it's going, it provides really nice, good support levels on the candle. So again, watch today's low here so far at 77.25. And then we'll come over here, your 77.17. And then we have your 76.80. And then we have your hundred day at, uh, uh, 76.43. Now, again, if that is lost, then what we want to do is we want to come to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 75.84, uh, and then we have your 50-day at 75.53, uh, which lines up very, very nice here with your 75.52 and 75.54, okay? So you have really good support levels all the way on down here to that 50 SMA if it gets there. Now, again, if it does get here, um, your your uh, higher low is still very, very much intact. You can come down to 50-day, you can come down lower, but it's still very much intact. Your rounded bottom is looking very good. The key is going to be this neckline right here, okay? So if you can get above, see that uh, 79.29? If you can get above that, then we can ratchet right on up here. So you can just see here all the words. Spiked up above, couldn't hold it with the red candle. Another spike above here, couldn't hold it. And now here where we are here today, okay? So... And that's basically what we want to watch on the downside. Now, on the upside, uh, you have your uh, uh, 21 SMA here. You're sitting basically at uh, 77.97, and then we have your 200-day at 77.98. So you're sitting right there. That is going to be key resistance. If you can get above that, then we have your 8-day. That's going to be the next level that you got to go to is 78.83, uh, okay? So basically, you know, you look at today's high so far. Of 78 uh, uh 38 it just could not get here so far uh you stopped it with the 21 day and your 200 sma okay so again if you can get above that 8 sma here which is 78.63 okay then what we do is we just look right to the left of the chart and we look to the top of that candle what do you have you have 79 flat uh then we uh right next is going to be 79 uh 28 and then we have uh 79.49 79.53, uh, uh, then we look to Friday's high. That's going to be very, very key level, which is 79.99. And then you just ratchet up, you know, 80.41. Uh, we have uh, 80.67, and then your big retest here of 80.85. So we got to see if this is all going to hold. So right now we lost this level here, okay, which is basically that 77.52 level. So now we just white, white go down to the next level, 77.25, and just watch that 77.17 here. So, okay, so that is your support level right there, okay? So you're within uh, uh, 8 cents, okay? See, that's going to be your support level. And again, if it's lost, we follow the candles, but your big target's going to be that that uh, 100 SMA, and then your big target right below that is going to be your 50 SMA here, okay? So, uh, we've got to see how this all shakes out. But again, it's Monday. 
And a lot of times what you do it is you'll get like a uh, turnaround Tuesday. But we got to see how this is all going to shake out. But very right now, the long term is still very, very uh, bullish. Now, if we can get back up to that 80, 85 uh, uh, level there, then what we do here, if you can break, but you got to close above. You can't have a candle like this, which pops above and then comes down. Or like this candle, pops above and then comes down. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for 80, 85, a clear, nice, big breakout. Okay, just like what we had with this candle. When you look at this candle where he broke down to the downside, okay, so... We're fighting that 8 estimate all the way through here. Then when you see this candle, look at this candle. The top of that was 81.05 and the bottom was 77.09. So roughly had a four-point swing, okay? This is a true candle that we're looking for, just that we wanted in the green to go to the upside. But see how nice this candle came right down and just held that bottom. And then we just had some bare flags going all the way through here, okay, which kept it suppressed underneath that 8 SMA here. Okay, but this is what you're looking for, but in the green style like we have here to give you that breakout is what you actually need. Other than that, we're just basically trading uh, the range here. Now, your RSI here, that looks uh, that looks really good here. When there's no issue there. You're just going back and forth. There's no divergences, nothing. Uh, your MACD here, your green is just below your red here, but nothing, you know, to really uh, uh, worry about there. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out here today. But remember, one day does not make a market. We have five days here, okay? So just quick review here. <clears throat> Watch the bottom of today's candle. That's at 77.25. Right there is your support level at 77.17. If that's lost, we'll come right to the bottom here, 76.80. And then we have your 100-day, 76.43 below that. And then if that's lost, we have your 75.84. And then your 50-day at 75.53. Upside, right there, <clears throat> 77.97. That's what we're looking for. That's your 21-day and your 200-day. If you can get above that, we're looking for this 8 SMA at 78.64. And then we just keep ratcheting right on up here with your 79s, 79.28. You have uh, all the way up to here to Friday's high of 79.99. And then work yourself all the way up the candles until you can get to that big target, which is 80.85. Uh, Okay, let's take a look here on a uh, weekly and a monthly. Okay, monthly chart here. Well, we can see what's going on here. See, you're right here compressed. Okay, so right there, 76, 79, uh, uh, 31 is what you're looking for. And then right above that is 79, 84. You really need to get above that. Now, again, this is a weekly chart. This is today's only the 11th. Got plenty of time here. But as long as you're holding this green, uh, at SMA, which is your 50-day, your 200 SMA, this is still looking very, very good. Here now, your RSI, well, that could go either direction. Your uh, green is still below your red. It hasn't proven anything here yet. Uh, once you get a run up here, it looks like it wants to break up, but we got to still uh, see how that's going to shake out. Now, here on your weekly chart, your MACD is bullish, your green above your red, very nice. Your uh, <clears throat> RSI looking good here. And here's what we want to watch, uh, the key level here. Now, again, this is for the week. Uh, you want to watch that 50 SMA here. That's at 77.80. Uh, and then we have right below it here, we have 77.18. And then we have your 21 day. We'd really like to close above all of this, you know, for the week. But you can see here how nicely this is trending up here. Really some, I mean, for me, it's a re I'm a trader. So, I really like the, the trading action here, really uh, doing good. But what we need to do is uh, uh, last week's candle is that 8067. That's where we want to get above. And then this is the key level at 8085. Once we get above that, you have a nice target there <clears throat> uh, by 8349 uh, here. But for the week here, we want to watch that 50 SMA, 7780, that key 8 SMA, 7718. And that 21 day. You really like to close all up. If that's all lost here, well, you have your 7345 here. This is your big, big target here. But uh, we don't worry about that right now. We still have just some nice, good sideways action. We're just starting the week. Okay, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Okay, natural gas here is still uh, just not really working, as I used to say, as of right the second but not a gas they don't call it the widow maker for nothing she can rip higher she can rip low very very easy <clears throat> now here's what we have that um, last week uh last time we had a contract roll 
this is the time before rolled right on up and came right on down here okay but right now again you had the seasonality you had to hold on the lng that kind of a situation here so that took it right down but you put a nice bottom here 1.52 you had a nice good retest at 1.58 now we had a nice rally all the way up here to 2.0 uh, but see where this candle went that went right into that 8 SMA. This is very very key. Okay So I can't express it enough that 1.912 uh, you need to close above this Okay, that will take you higher, but right now you're just running into that resistance Okay, and then that's gonna be a big big problem that it really has to get above But right now today what we want to watch is uh, two very very key levels. Okay, this 21 SMA here <clears throat> on a 1.76 this is very, very crucial. And then we want to watch that eight day at 1.86. If you can get above that 1.86, then your next target is going to be this 1.91. And then obviously, if you can get above that key eight SMA, then we're going to look right here to the top of this candle. You're looking at 1.95, and then we have 1.98. And then here's your big 2.0. Okay, <clears throat> now if you look at these price channel, you can see how it came right on down. And Okay, now what we're doing is it's kind of leveling off. If it doesn't keep on sloping down the levels off here, that'll give you a trading range here, okay? Again, hopefully it doesn't come all the way down here. But again, if it does, if you lose that 21 day, then you want to be short because then you're probably going to be retesting this level here. Uh, but realistically here, if just, as long as that 21 day holds, you're in good shape. But it's got like a ping pong action here between that 1.76 and this uh, eight day at 1.86, okay? So get that 10 cent uh, uh, deal. So today's high was 1.84 and the low was 1.77. So you're still stuck in that kind of a range. But if you can get above that eight day, then watch that eight day on your weekly 1.91 because that exactly is, that's where, where it's gonna go. And then we can just ratchet up the candles until you hit that 2.0. Again, if we can get above that 2.0 here, then we'll just come to the top of these candles. You have that 2.4, um, 2.10, 2.12. This is the candle that we'd be looking for. This is that 2.168. There's your gap and then there's your fill. And then we have a, between that, we have that nice 50 SMA here, okay? But your 50 day is still leaning down. Your uh, 100 day is still leaning down here and your 21 day here still leaning down it needs to curl up here okay so this is the key now if that 21 day is lost that's that <clears throat> one point uh, 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 your 21 day here is uh, sitting at 1.76 then what you want to do again we just follow the candles okay so you have 1.73 1.71 and then 1.67 1.66 come over here 1.63 1.59, 1.58, and there's your big retest right there at 1.52. Now, again, we got to see here how it's going to shake out. You still got seasonality in play here. You're waiting for some, uh, like a, if you can get yourself a nice, good, hot summer, then you have a good rise up here in the natural gas. But again, we got to just see how that's all going to shake out here. So let me just see here on the weekly chart. Um, <clears throat> okay, so. When we look at a weekly chart here, you can see here, this is April, this is July, October. You can see the run up that you, which you can actually have here very, very nicely. Now, if you go to my playlist, I have seasonality charts that are posted. So you can take a look at a seasonality chart. Just click onto the playlist, look at for seasonality charts, and then just, you get it's right in there. I have all the indexes and then I'll have uh, crude and natural gas. Just click on that and you'll see where the seasonality comes in play here okay but you can have some really big action I'm not saying it's gonna rip up to 10 bucks but you just never know here with natural gas okay that's that's always the key but again you need to close above this 8 SMA <clears throat> very very key if you can then the next level is going to be a 1.91 and then we can your other big target is going to be a 2.0 then you have that 2.16 and then your 50 day at 2.21 on the downside the key level is that 21 day if that's lost we follow the candles all the way on down. Now, your RSI here looking good. Your MACD, you've got good momentum. That's no issue there. This MACD is sideways, looks like it wants to curl up here, RSI here. You've got that nice uh, positive divergence going on here. So overall here, just have a little patience. Don't force anything, especially with natural gas, because then that thing will hand you your your you know your your ass to you. You know what I'm saying? So just just trade trade what you can see you know, not what you actually want. So I'll be looking here today to see if we can get maybe a scalp here in the UNG. If not, we'll just see here about the KOLD. If you lose this 21 day, then I'll be short 
obviously here. And we'll look to the bottom of that candle first. That's at 1.75. If that's lost here, then we just follow it down and KOLD will be a nice good short. Okay, let's take a look here in the hourly and the four hour chart. Okay, here we have your nice hourly chart and you can see how it ratcheted up here very, very nicely. Now you're coming on down. Okay, so basically here you put a low. Here's that uh, bottom of that candle at 1.75 level here. It rallied up here, but if you watched my video last night, I said you really have to get above that price channel. That's at 1.84. Then you can start hitting towards these other levels here, your 200 day, your 100 day, et cetera, even your 50 SMA here. But now you can see where this is just rolling on down here. See, I don't like that 50 day coming on down here. And look at your 80, how that curved. Okay, don't like that at all here. But again, uh, we have a bottoming table here, tail here at that 1.79 here. But realistically, we want to watch, you know, the, the, a lot of these candles at 1.76, and then you can come all the way down to that 1.75 level here. So this is not really looking anything really good. On the upside, you want to watch that 1.81. You want to watch that 8 SMA. And then we have your 50-day above that, and then your retest here at 1.84. But we got to see how this is all going to shake out here. So, so far, it's holding this key level here, okay? It's holding the uh, the bottom candle here, but this really an ugly chart right now, okay? So, we'll see how it shakes out during the day. Now, here you had that nice series of higher lows. It ripped right on up here, but you look at this 200 SMA here. See this? Where did this go? Right into it, couldn't do it. Where did it go? Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Came down. See? This is, I say, when you do your trading, just keep it simple, okay? That's how you make money. All these complicated things, yeah, I get it. I Believe me, I've used all of that stuff, okay? The simpler you keep it, the easier it is to make the money. It's very clear what you see here, okay? So if you lose this 1.75 level, okay? If you lose that level, then what you're going to do is you're going to come right down here to the bottom of this candle, which is 1.71. There's your gap. Okay, and then we looked at the top of this candle, 1.66, there's a fill. That is your next support level. That is your next support level. And then if that's lost here, then we can start following these candles all the way on down. But right now, if you notice that, this candle, when it came down, it's holding the 100-day. This candle so far, when it came down, it's holding the 100-day. Okay, so that's what you got to watch. If that's lost, then we watch that price channel at 1.755. Okay, if that's lost here, then you go to the gap. Then you go to the fill. Then we can ratchet all the way and down. But, you know, that's where it, you want to go. But, again, that's only if that, you know, 100-day in that price channel is lost. So we've got to see how this is going to shake out. But you really need to get above this key uh, uh, 21 SMA here, which is basically 1.86. And then we have your 50-day above that 1.87. But this is the big boy right here, that 200-day. Because look how many times it went in, okay, and it just couldn't do dick. It just can't get through it. Spiking up through it doesn't mean anything. That's just a trade, okay, just like we had here. This was that EIA report. It's a trade. It doesn't mean that you're going to buy and hold it, okay? So that's what you're looking for here, but you've got to get above that 200-day. See that? Once you get above that, then we can start ratcheting it up and go right up higher. But until then, eh, not so much. But I would give you a little bit patient here with the natural gas. Let's see how it all shakes out here. I'll be looking for some scalps. Uh, uh, today here on the UNG, and if we lose that uh, 21 day on the uh, uh, daily chart, then I'll be in the KOLD, go with short ski. Okay, that's what I got for you on crude and uh, natural gas. I'll have the midday report. We'll go over natural gas first and then take a quick look at crude. And then later today, after the pick close, we'll go in more in depth on crude and natural gas. All right, thanks for watching.